Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I have a whole lot of Mullen information, probably stuff you haven't even seen yet that came out today. I have two other stocks in today's video, a cybersecurity stock and an OTC double zero stock meeting is at 0 0.005 right now. Make sure you drop a quick like on this video. And yesterday we were able to give ourselves some good luck in the comment section by posting a bunch of four leaf clovers. It's St. Paddy's Day weekend. Let's do it again. Post, go down there, post some more four leaf clovers, go crazy with it once again, because why not? It worked last time. We did it yesterday. We got a 20% day today. Let's do it again. Maybe next week we'll get another 20% day to start off Monday. And I want you guys to remember, it's been a great week in the stock market. You got to go celebrate. Get out, have some fun with your life. Don't stay in your room all day. Make sure you're getting out doing other things, have balance in your life. I just want to remind you all that because you see us YouTubers grinding. I'm grinding. I'm having a great time making these videos every single day for you all. And I enjoy doing it. I'm going to continue to making daily updates. But you got to remember, you see this happening. You got to enjoy yourself. You got to you got to enjoy life. y'all. Just keep that in mind. I just wanted to remind you of that because a lot of people get stuck up in this trading and they don't really get out as much. So keep that in mind. And if you do want to join the private Discord community, we got a stock scanner in there picking up all momentum plays. We got call outs, we got alerts, we got everything you need. And we alerted Mullen early. Pop this on the screen. People are going crazy, making a ton of money in that private Discord on Mullen. We were in it early. We get everything in that Discord early. If you want to buy or sell Mullen or any other stock, use the Moomoo link in the top pin comment. Deposit only $1 and you'll also get a free share of Neo, which has been skyrocketing lately. And also five free stocks on top of that. First stock we're jumping into, ticker MULN. And of course, we hit over $3 today, up another 18%. We actually hit a high of $3.20 today. I posted this tweet today with all of the manipulation going on in the market when it comes to AMC, GameStop, all of these retail favorites. We were able to get together as retail and a community and overcome the market makers, the extreme short pressure. All of this is literally a story, y'all, and the story is still being written, in my personal opinion. Mullen had 435 million volume today, and the interest is still extremely high for Mullen. You can see another huge, huge volume day. Out of that volume, 102 million was short volume, and 4 million this time was short exempt volume. That means potentially up to 4 million share buys were suppressed and exempt from the price test, meaning that it really didn't affect the price. This was the most we have seen in a very long time. Four million short exempt today. The interest in Mullen is still on the rise. You can see it right here. We had another spike up in interest on Google Trends this week, way up from last week. Mullen is thriving right now from volume and increased interest. This is very similar to the beginning of the AMC run. I'm not saying I'm not saying it's going to run until like seventy dollars. It might. It, there's a chance, but I'm saying. This is what ha was happening early days in AMC. The interest was rising. The volume was rising. Everything is coming along here. Watch for this interest to continue to rise. And when it starts to fall, make sure you take notice of that. Mullen is still the most active group on StockTwits. The most people in there sending messages in StockTwits. Mullen is up there. And most new watchers in the past 24 hours on StockTwits as well. It's actually number two right under ApeCoin. I I've been seeing a lot about ApeCoin recently. What's going on with that? Comment down below. Mullen's interest on Reddit is on the rise, moving from number six to number seven this week. The interest is still there. There are only 500,000 shares to borrow. I saw this actually at 8,000 at one point in the day. And there's currently a 13% borrow fee. You can see it right there. And that is very, very updated. What does that mean? A stock loan or a borrow fee is a fee charged by a brokerage firm to a client for borrowing shares. It means the number of shares for a particular security that is available to borrow for selling a stock short. And it's also very hard to borrow to short Mullen right now. And you also got to pay a huge fee of 13% to borrow these shares. If you compare that to AMC, there are always over 100,000 shares available to borrow. And by the way, the lower, the better in this scenario, at least. And now there's only a 1.4% fee on AMC to borrow. So you got to pay up if you want to borrow Mullen stock. Taking a look at the chart and I set it up different today. Take a look at this. I mean, this is absolutely incredible. We broke above and held the important $2.70 level. And now that is acting as support right here, this, this blue area. Like I said, once we break that, and we already did, there's not a whole lot of resistance all the way up to $4. Yes, there is a little bit of resistance at $3.60, 
But there's also psychological resistance. For example, the $3 price point, a lot of people are thinking about that one. $325, $350, $4, these psychological resistance levels that may not appear on the chart, but you know they're there in people's heads. These levels are spots many traders are looking at, and next week we need to break over $3, and there is some resistance at $360, like I said, but if the hype is still there next week, we really should have no problem making our way to $4 unless we get bad news, like an offering or something. Like I've been saying, like I've been saying, if Mullen came out and, you know, offered a whole bunch more shares, people could panic. So keep that in mind. I always been saying, take your profit. So I know my community is going to come out of this making a whole bunch of money. Stock two, SPCB. Now, cybersecurity plays are heating up. SPCB sitting at 50 cent up 10% on the day, just about. Last week, I told you I was swinging SPCB for news. And SPCB is a cybersecurity stock sitting at a 19 million market cap with 11 subsidiaries, all of these right here. In the previous PR from this company, they said they plan to release a new cybersecurity software that is going to protect from different various cyber attacks with enhanced protection. There may even be news of another buyback upcoming. And in a recent PR, the chairman made this statement. I believe SPCB current stock price levels do not reflect the high intrinsic value of the company. This purchase program through which I purchased an additional 405,000 SPCB shares following the 512,000 share purchase announced in December provides me the ability to opportunistically acquire Supercom shares and underscores my ongoing belief in the company. And it also said in there that he plans to buy up to 3 million shares over time. Now, I don't know when he's going to buy them, but that's just what it said. There were two articles posted today about cybersecurity. Just go on there, go on Google, type in cybersecurity or cyber attacks, and you're going to see all these articles constantly coming out every hour about cybersecurity. And a lot of them like this, cybersecurity stock valuations are accelerated by Google's new buyout. Cybersecurity stocks could see huge growth as Russia and Ukraine war spurs more cyber attacks. My top three cybersecurity stocks are SPCB, CYRN, and GFAI. We call GFAI at 50 cent multiple times on the channel. We caught the bottom in the private discord below 50 cents. And now I'm still very bullish on it. GFAI has earnings to report by the end of March. And also they have two acquisitions to close next month. So I'm still bullish on all three of these and GFAI. Stock number three, IFXY, this is an OTC stock. So if you need a place to buy OTC stocks, you can't do it on Moomoo, you need interactive brokers. So get Moomoo interactive brokers and you should be completely set up. Both of them are in the top pin comment. Currently sitting at a $25 million market cap, 0 0.005, up 13% of the day. I very recently covered this stock and it's up pretty significantly since we covered it on the channel recently. I know I covered it a while back and it's down from that point, but the future is looking a lot more bright for IFX. Why well, keep an eye on it because you also have to realize this is an extremely risky play. And if you're a gambler, this might be the play for you. Like I said, none of this is financial advice, but this is an OTC stock. They sent this tweet out this week. Paperwork for OTC markets, SOS, and new majority owner of IFXY are being completed. We are expecting 321 March 21st as the official announcement date of our new captain. Very sorry for the delay, but things must be 100% correct the first time when dealing with a big with a company this big. Previously, they stated on March 11th the revenues for the company that is coming in exceed the current market cap and at that time the market cap was 18 million. So, this company coming in should have 18 million revenue or more. So it could be a big play. It's also very risky. You know, with merger plays, they're high, high risk because things can fall through. So keep that in mind. Penny plays are hot right now. The spy is up after hours. Next week should be a good one. We've hit so many runners at the past few days in the private discord. JJ made $18,000 from an NXMR call in the discord recently. Join that. We got the scanner in there. We got everything going in there. That's it from me. Peace.